from elementary school. And perhaps you're wondering, what am I doing with it now? Reliving glory days, playing third trumpet in the school band, or perhaps waiting for a parade so I can join in. Nothing like that. Even better, I use instruments to introduce the topic of sound. And what better way than have students build their own instrument using an ordinary drinking straw. Here's what they need to do. They're gonna take the straw, chew it down a bit so you flatten the end. You can see it flatten there. Then, with their own scissors, they will put two snips in the straw, almost coming to a point. And make sure that when you do the cuts, the end of the straw doesn't seal shut. If it does, just pop it open. Then take a deep breath, place your lips about an inch and a half down from the end of the straw. This way you don't interfere with the free vibration of the flaps. Put it in your mouth, take a deep breath and blow out. And we have a great sound making instrument. But there's more to it because students can then explore the relationship between the length of the vibrating air column and the perceived pitch. Listen. Is that great? Now, you can even have students predict what the sound might be like if you had a much longer straw. And you know what? I do. Take a look at that beauty right here. So, we're gonna first chomp down the end. Then, as we did before, place two snips, almost coming to a point, one and the other. Next, we're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna place our lips about an inch and a half down from the end of the straw and blow out and see if we can create something. Here goes. <sighs> Sounds like a foghorn. Or an oboe. Hey, another great connection to school instruments. And as you can imagine, building instruments is a great way to get kids engaged and excited about learning about sound.